Rumors are rampant about bad behavior in Hollywood, but now we want to introduce you to people already in the spotlight who don't forget there's good to be done and they want to do it. So you know her as Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, a former Bond girl, a jewelry designer, artist, author. But when Jane Seymour dreamt about creating the Open Hearts Foundation, her talented and famous in his own right husband, James Keach, put his producing skills to work and just look at what these two were able to create. It all started with a little design. Two hearts intertwined, but still open. Jane Seymour's art grew from a picture, to a jewelry line, to a way of life. I think a lot of people who are hiding away their pain and their hurt and their, their fears have realized that by becoming part of community, by helping someone else, that they're helping themselves. We want people to support and help other people. Uh, we want the world to be a better place. You don't have to give lots of money. You give your love, you give your time. The annual Open Hearts Gala is in its second year this year, honoring people like Holly Robinson Pete and her husband Rodney for prompting us to talk about autism, something her son and so many children have, and something people just didn't address for far too long. Glenn and Kim Campbell, candidly sharing their fight against Alzheimer's, a disease Glenn lives with every day. Olympic gold medalist Christy Yamaguchi, who founded the Always Dream Foundation, supporting children's charities. And John and Roxana Green, who lost their daughter Christina to a bullet in the brazen shooting that also injured Arizona Congresswoman Gabby Giffords in January 2011. For them not to be angry and to turn it into a a plus by just saying, you know, we're going to do what she would have done if she were here. We're going to make a difference to the world the way she would have done if she'd been able to live her life. I think that's just extraordinary. I think that it just encapsulates what Open Hearts is all about. When creating Open Hearts, they recognized there are so many touching, passionate, worthy causes out there. They didn't want to just birth another one. They wanted to support what was already there, to lift up the good people who needed more help to raise money, support research, and foster change with a purpose. I would love to see an Open Heart Foundation in every city in America. I would love to see people honor the people of their community for the good that they do. The Open Hearts Foundation provides funds to charitable organizations that deal with health, arts, education, and sports. And they focus to honor people who exemplify the open heart philosophy in the way they serve others. You can go to openheartsfoundation.org to learn more, Ryan.